What's up guys, Sean from SRKCycles.com. We have an awesome list video, I don't know, five or six, maybe seven awesome motorcycle hacks that I've acquired throughout the years of riding a motorcycle. Let's go. Number one, the tape motorcycle mod. You'll see a lot of you guys do this. I've heard people do it with, with uh, duct tape. It's a bad idea, don't use duct tape. You wanna put a thin row of tape either on the top of your visor or on the bottom. I like the bottom better than the top. And the reason you do this is you get in those situations where you're going down a road, the sun's coming down, and it's just right in your vision. Now I always have sunglasses and always have like the fighter pilot shields. I got like two layers of glass. That's normally good enough. But what's nice is you can put your visor up to the right spot and you can block, you can block the sun. It's gotta keep right there. Trust me, it makes a big difference. It is, it is a pretty awesome mod. Don't use duct tape. Duct tape's way too sticky. You can't take it off easily. The best, I would rather use electrical tape. A little thinner, you don't gotta split it in half, and you can put a nice little bead right on top of there. The best thing about electrical tape is you don't have to pay for it. Just go and steal it from your dad. He has tons of this stuff. The next one, here's the situation. You're out, you gotta park your bike in the grass, maybe you're camping, you're parking in the woods. Some, some type, you're parking in some type of condition where it's not a flat, solid surface. Your kickstand might sink in. What are you gonna do? We have a lot of different options. One, find a piece of trash. This is why you don't get too mad at people that litter. Find a piece of trash that's strong enough, maybe a soda can. Uh, I like to use a snake. If you can go find a snake, put a snake right underneath it. Your friend's boot, you know what I mean? Uh, your, any, anything that your friend owns, stick it underneath your kickstand, put it on there and crush it and push it in the dirt. iPhone, whatever. As long as it's not yours, it'll be fine. The goal is to make sure your bike's not falling over. Let's go to the next one. When you're on a trip, it's real important that you have extra gas. Um, if you can have a bottle or something, now what I, I've heard from people, and this is a bad idea, they say put it in a water bottle. Put gasoline in a water bottle. Worst possible idea, because you know your stupid buddy, while you're out like taking a leak in the woods, he's like, yo, I'm so thirsty. He's gonna grab that thing and just take a swig and he's gonna die. Also, the plastic in a water bottle is not, it was never meant to hold gasoline. So eventually it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt the structure of the water bottle, leak out, cover gasoline all over you. You're gonna go to uh, light the fire or something, <sighs> up in flames. Here's a better idea. There's stuff like this. You have products like uh, the VP Fix Fuel, which is just used to carrying like fuel type things in it. There's also, there's uh, the same type of bottle, but for a uh, non-ethanol fuel that you can go buy for four stroke engines at Home Depot. It's the same bottle, it's an aluminum kind of tin tin bottle, it was made to transport fuel. You can pretty much buy this stuff for the cost of the fuel inside of it. Well, I think fixed fuel is like 12 bucks. If you go just find a fuel container like this that you buy online for motorcycle fuel, the container itself costs you 20 bucks with nothing in it. So you might as well go get some, get some nice non-ethanol fuel, stick it in there, stick it in your back. You know it's gonna be safe. You know it's not gonna get messed up or leak anywhere. The next one, this is something a lot of new riders, and this may be a controversial, I don't know. A lot of new riders do this. If you're like me, you probably leave your keys in your bike almost all the time. Instead of, I never use my kill switch to turn my bike off. Because what ends up happening is I go up there, I pull up out of place, I use the kill switch, I start chatting with someone, I step off, I walk off the bike. I just left the lights on, I left everything else on, and the keys in the bike. So when I come back, my battery's dead. Never use the kill switch, always use the ignition. Just turn the ignition off, your lights are off, your battery's gonna be preserved, you can come back, jump on your bike, fire it up. It saved me so many times where I would normally forget to turn the light off when I park it, it's just easier that way. Don't use a kill switch, turn the key off. All right, here's something that I've done. This has been, if you guys saw my uh, my last, not my last, a couple months ago, Bikes and Beards video of me taking a trip on my Road King. I was about three hours in the trip and I realized that what happened was, I didn't realize this at the moment, but what happened was all my lights went out, except for my turn signal lights would work. And, and what the issue was, later I found out the next day, was that my relay kind of vibrated itself out. We put it back in, it worked. But I had no lights, so what, so what did I do? Same thing you guys should do in the same situation. You find a truck stop. You don't want white lights on your, showing off on your bike. You want it to be red lights on the back. Truck stops actually have tail light um, tape that you can put on the back, the, on top of a light and make it a tail light. So if you have a cracked tail light, go to a truck stop, it's super cheap, put this on, you can fix it, keep water out of it, keep it from breaking any worse. But then what I did was I bought a couple of these, uh, these sticky lights 
put this tape on the top, put a bunch of these on the back of my bike. All right, I'm visible from the back. And then I got a bunch of flashlights, taped them to the front. Now I can kind of see from the front. It's enough to get me to my destination or the closest safe spot at night. The last thing you want to be doing is driving at night with zero light. It's just, it's, it's really dumb. No one else can see you and you can't see anything else. So just don't do it. Another option, if you can have this, turn the flashlight on your, on your cell phone. If your cell phone's mounted on your bike, you can turn the flashlight on and either way, just so someone can see you, it's important, don't get run over. Guys, there's tons more hacks out there. These are just a couple tools that you should have in your toolbox, and not actual tools, more metaphorical tools. Some of these are real tools, but you should have in your toolbox, in your mind, when you're trying to solve problems, when you're trying to go on that trip, when, you're, when things go wrong. Part of riding motorcycles is that something's gonna go wrong, and honestly, that, that should be part of the fun. It really is part of the best part. If you ever hear, listen to guys talking about their, their favorite motorcycle trips, something went wrong and they adapted, they overcame it. Part of being humans, part of being men, is the ability that we get to adapt and overcome things that don't go, that, that don't go right. But if I'm on a trip and nothing breaks down, nothing bad happens, it's kind of boring. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. And remember, it's not what you're riding, but where are you going?